Hi y'all, today we're making chicken two ways, stuffed and rolled. All right, first we're gonna put a chicken breast here and wrap it in this saran wrap. I'm gonna cover it on both sides so that when I flatten it, I am not going to have juices squirting all over the kitchen. All right, and I don't have a mallet, so I'm using this small iron skillet. I do this all the time, works out great. And uh, I am just flattening this chicken, just hitting it until it's flat. I want it to be about an eighth of an inch thickness, and that's what I've got. Now I unwrap it from the plastic. Now I've got some ricotta cheese here. I'm taking the back of my spoon, and I'm just going to spread this here. You, there's two ways of doing this. You can um, put it across the whole uh, chicken, and then have kind of a pinwheel effect. But it's going to be the. I don't feel like the chicken is big enough, uh, a big enough piece of meat to roll. It's going to be way too thick with all that. I like it to just put it in this one spot and then roll it from there. Uh, now I'm adding uh, some garlic. And I didn't mix this up in a bowl. I'm just putting it in, just reaching in, getting the individual ingredients. And now remember that if you're reaching in with the raw chicken on your hands, whatever you've measured these things out and you have to throw away whatever's left over. Uh, that's very important. Okay, now, and I say finely chopped onion here, but you see these giant hunks. I am so bad. I'm notoriously bad at chopping onion. Uh, I can have nice little pieces and then these big, big things that you could like float a, 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 an army on. Okay, now here we go. I'm putting some spinach. And you can put other toppings. Uh, um, you could put, um, oh, something nice would be uh, some cheese that kind of like melts. Like the ricotta uh, it doesn't have that gooey, melty, you know, you could use something like that. Um, whatever you, whatever you want to use. Um, these are just an example. Um, and I think next I'm putting in some mushrooms, but I'm using canned mushrooms because we want to stay in our budget uh, of under $10 for the cheap and tasty videos. Um, but, uh, you know, if you want to get fresh mushrooms, that'd be great. Um, just whatever you want to do. And uh, let's see, I think we're ready to start rolling it up. Yep, here we go. We're going to start rolling it up. And see, I'm just holding the ingredients so they don't fall out. And then we just turn it up a couple of times and that's it and now while I get my baking uh, dish I and my toothpicks to hold it together I'm just gonna step away for a second and here's my baking dish and you can see it's got a uh, nonstick cooking spray on it and I'm just gonna put the chicken in the dish and pin it closed so it doesn't come unrolled I'm going to use three toothpicks. There we go. And that's your rolled chicken. Very simple. The only hard part about it, what's well, this isn't even hard, is uh, beating the chicken uh, it, to make it uh, flat. Okay, now we're going to stuff uh, the other breast. And. Uh, <laughs> I am so glad after this I have actually bought myself some knives so you will no longer have to watch me hack into things with these with these knives these are actually nicer the one that I have here is nicer than what I had before you should have seen that one um, but uh, but this works better than what I had before and uh, and it's still not even great um, but anyway, I have new knives now. Everybody uh, that's that's felt sorry for me will feel better. But you need to make a slit in the thick part of the breast uh, so that your stuffings can go in. And try not to let your knife go through to the outside and make a hole. That's that's really the only hard part about this is not making a hole to the outside. And now you're going to stick your fingers in the hole that you made, the slit you made, and just kind of spread that out. And then you're just going to put your ingredients in there. And I'm just putting in the same things that I put in the rolled chicken. And uh, and actually, you'll see that I kind of uh, am mixing them up in here with my fingers. Kind of doing a stir without actually stirring it. Uh, you can see it when I put the spinach in, uh, especially. You'll see what I do. Here it is. And see, I just kind of stir it up, mix it up a little bit. Get everything in there. Here's the mushrooms. All right, and now that's going to take its place in the baking dish. 
And now I'm going to put the toothpicks in that one so that the filling doesn't come out. This is so easy and people are impressed when you do something like this. I guess it's just that you took the time to do it. I don't know. But uh, as you can see here, it doesn't really take any time. Um, uh, just a couple of minutes on each one. There we go. And they're ready for the oven. And they're going to go into a 375 degree oven for about 35 minutes. You want to check on them uh, after, I don't know, maybe 25, 30 minutes. Make sure they're not getting uh, too overdone, um, but they should be, you know, nicely light brown. Chicken doesn't get real dark or anything, um, but here they are. Here's the stuffed one, and here's the rolled one. It's not a very good picture, um, but it's the best I could get, but that's, that's the rolled chicken. And then we're going to have a picture here of the roll when it's cut open. This would probably be more impressive if I'd used a gooey cheese. It would be kind of melting out of it. Um, but uh, you can get the idea. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, you've been in the kitchen with Dinah.